What is up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this conversation. All right, guys, I just want to share my thoughts on this real quick. So it's being reported that Soldier Boy is suing Tasha K and William the Baddest for defamation sexual harassment and more after William claimed him and Soldier were sexually involved during an interview that he did with Tasha K. So I'm sharing this with you from the Neighborhood Talk. So it says, it looks like Tasha K is being sued again, stemming from an interview that made some serious claims about Soldier Boy. According to court documents obtained by the Neighborhood Talk, Soldier is suing Tasha and William the Baddest after William made claims that he and Soldier were sexually intimate during an episode of Tasha's Unwind with Tasha K. William went into graphic detail about their alleged sexual encounter, stating it was everything. It was perfect. He was really into the race play stuff. That bleep was big and it goes to the left. Soldier immediately denied the claims on Instagram. He says anyone can describe what his bleep looks like because it's posted to his OnlyFans. Dang, who doesn't have OnlyFans these days that's not a celebrity? Like, just ridiculous. Anyway, Soldier's suing for defamation, sexual harassment, violation of right to privacy, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and more. William doesn't seem concerned concerning the fact that he got Soldier's name con- tattooed on his cheek now listen tasha k she pretty much responded to it by i guess letting the process service know where she'll be located she said psa process servers can meet me in boston on saturday july 20th or in new york city on july 21st i will be performing at the city wineries my wine gossip and comedy shows start promptly at 7 30 p.m eastern standard time be sure to purchase a ticket process server and i will make sure that my security team lets you through to serve me without any hassle my lawyers are also in new york and will be attending my new york show as well if you have any problems getting to me. Now, winos, get ready to turn up for two shows. We got some tickets left. Hurry before the tickets are gone. Tasha K on stage.com. Listen, I don't have a dog in this fight, but I just am curious. I really am. Because I don't know a whole lot about these situations when someone interviews someone And the person that is interviewed, especially when they're not being paid to be interviewed, they're just being interviewed. And the person who is being interviewed is saying what they're saying. If the interviewer who is just interviewing the person is just as liable as the person that is being interviewed, especially when they're not paying them to be interviewed. Because I know Tasha has said over and over again, she never pays anyone to do an interview. If it's, you know, something on a level of maybe, uh, I I don't like to say low level, but someone that may not be very well known, but had a very viral story. Like, for example, the young lady who went viral for going live while she was giving her either four or five children up to the Department of Social Services or Child Protective Services, whatever the agency is named in the state and city that she's located um maybe she paid for this woman's flight and maybe accommodations but didn't pay her to share a story or you know be interviewed how does that make the interviewer responsible because i'm thinking back to kevin hart and how he sued tasha k and his former assistant for this nda that this assistant sign being broken and how she did an interview and shared her story, shared her experience working with Kevin Hart and Kevin Hart wanted to sue Tasha K for extortion. I don't know where this is going to go, but when I see these stories and I see that Tasha K's name is named first, when she's doing the interview, she's not saying that the person did these things. I always feel like they just go back to Cardi B and I don't see how she is liable in this. I don't. But again, 
I'm no expert when it comes to this and we'll see where this goes, but she doesn't seem to be bothered. And so hopefully she's got it all covered. Like she said, her attorneys will make sure that if they need to serve her any papers where she's going to be performing, that they'll get it handled for her in lieu of her having to sign for anything herself because she's going to be busy and working. But the the story said the guy, he doesn't seem bothered by it either. And he has Soldier Boy's name tattooed on his cheek. So does this mean that something actually did happen and he has proof and he's not concerned about breaking an NDA? Because that's where my issue is when it comes to the NDAs. And I've talked about this a lot. Now, I've used NDAs in employment before when it comes to my hiring practices to have people who have worked in my business not take my business information, my personal and private business information about how we operate business when we perform our beauty services. And you're not going to go and take that to another business that we're directly competing with, or you're not going to steal it and try to implement it in your own business that you want to start. And companies have used non-disclosure agreements for years, but now for these past several years, we've heard about people, the likes of R. Kelly and you know, Diddy and, you know, people like that, even Trump, who have used non-disclosure agreements for nefarious purposes when terrible things may have been done or just salacious things, sexual, have been done and you want to keep people quiet. And then if they want to come out and share the story, then you want to sue them for breaking the NDA. So I don't know if this is more about this person possibly signing an NDA and choosing to break it versus it being defamation of character. But he's suing Tasha K for sexual harassment. I, I, I'm saying I just I don't get it. I, I don't I don't understand it. And I just wanted to talk about it because to have what I saw her name in the story posted first that she's being sued for defamation when she was interviewing the person and he shared his story. It's, you know, like he's trying to equate her into that Cardi B defamation of character litigation situation where she admitted that she did say some things and she regrets saying the things and honestly even regretted even you know, going back and forth with the litigation because she probably could have gotten out with maybe like a $75,000 judgment versus an almost $4 million judgment. But defamation, sexual harassment, and more. When all she was doing was interviewing him, asking him questions, and he was sharing his alleged experience with Soldier Boy. And the fact that he has this guy's name tattooed on his cheek. I know there are crazy people out here and they, that may not mean that actually something indeed did happen, but it's questionable. So I don't know. So if the guy, William the Baddest, doesn't seem bothered, then maybe he's got proof to back up his claims and they'll duke it out in the courts. We shall see. But I just had questions and wanted to share my thoughts on it. And I would love to know what you guys think. So you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section respectfully. Thanks for being here, liking and subbing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye. Don't